back to Juice for a moment. That's why I thought having Too Short and Pooh Man in particular on the Juice soundtrack and Short with So You Want to Be a Gangster, I was like, man, not only do I love this song, but it fit thematically so well into the Bishop character and that exploration and that unraveling of who that person was and what Too Short says and So You Want to Be a Gangster it's like, really? Is that what you really want? Do you really want to be bishop? <laughs> okay. Okay. And that's and and you know, and you know, once again, hats off to all all the two short pool, all the guys that 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 delivered. I mean, they over delivered, you know? And and that's a and that's a that's a brilliant thing is when is when you get people that are in tune so that they can they can they can vibe on a frequency and and really give you something that 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 comes from the heart. That's and I think that that's that to me is 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 where rap really shines. Yeah, but that's I believe in one way or another, there is a vulnerability inherent in rap. And that's why I think it resonates with so many people and obviously created by black and brown people. But I think because vulnerability is a universal feeling, everybody has mm -hmm. felt disregarded like people don't believe in them everybody mm -hmm. even the richest mm -hmm. person in the world that mm -hmm. has everything the mm -hmm. the one percent of the one percent feel that way whether it's real or imagined and that's mm -hmm. why i think rap resonates with so many people because even for me when i was first getting into rap as a little kid the records i were hearing were basketball or rock sand rock sand or i can't live mm -hmm. without my radio mm -hmm. those songs were coming out and i was like man i like to play basketball man mm -hmm. I, I like girls that don't like me. Man, I want to have a nice stereo. So when I'm hearing these songs or Nightmares by Dana Dane, it's like I had nightmares. So I could identify with all of those things, even though I didn't share the direct experience with any of those artists growing up in Maryland. You know, I didn't. Mm -hmm. But I could. But that. Yeah, but I think, but I think, but that's where you, you just, you know, said where I was going, where I was thinking about going is the is the area where, yeah, the simplicity now is, is, is another backbone. Yeah, we understand the complex, the lyrical supreme, but can you, uh, can you recognize the simplicity in, in you, you pointed out in hip hop parade, for example, you know, it's like, it's like the, those things that are like, how could you, you know, how could you not like look at those things and be like marveled at the fact that of what it does and when you and, and when you listen to this stuff that's coming out today and i'm sitting there going like I, i'm truly amazed by it and let me it, it, you know as a fan and it's because the sensibilities of of the younger rappers today is way different than the sensibilities that we had so we we had something that we was fighting to overcome we had to we had to pound our way in the in, to get through the door now they're already in the door so they got a so their gear is a little different their gear is not about trying to trying to make it happen their gear their gear is 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 about recognition for them making it happen so they they're coming from a totally from the perspective of, yeah you're gonna you want to like this shit because it's my shit it's as opposed to, yo, you're going to like this because I'm giving you something that's lyrically on top. I'm, I'm on top of my game. It's a different approach altogether. And what they've managed to do was 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 create an art form that that in a in a time where, where art is is plentiful and disposable. They they took the approach of making everything the hook instead of. The, instead of you building up these these bars to get to the hook no they said no 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 we're gonna start off with the hook we're gonna put we're gonna have the hook in the verse we're gonna have the hook in the chorus the hook in the bridge the hook in the end it's like the, it's all hooks but those songs tie in together and create a statement but you have to take it you have to take it you you you're getting it in small chunks as opposed to back in the days we we would get we would get one verse we would get one verse that we that we would di dive into where those guys would take that one verse and make two songs out of it <laughs> yeah yeah <clears throat> that's for sure i remember one 
Obviously, he did it in a very different way and not to the degree or the magnitude. But I do remember at times thinking Bismarck E repeated himself quite a bit in his songs. But that also right. ma- that also made them very easy to memorize. So it worked. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Because you you, you and, and, it's, and, and this is the beautiful thing I, I find about about rap. That you don't like you could have fun with it. You know, Biz had fun with rap. You know, yeah. and there was a lot of artists that was out that was actually to me were comedians making rap, and it was and and they made really really good good songs that you can let you can have fun with, you can laugh at, you know, and so those are those are that's an an expression that I think that we're we're kind of like losing because everybody is 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 becoming more harmonized into into one frequency, which is I I I gotta be hard, I gotta be. I got to stay on top of my game, which is cool. But what about having some fun? You know, <laughs> I think that I think that laughter is also a, a part of it. And that's what that's what makes rap so dynamic. That's why it's so it's so intriguing. And it's so hard for you to pick out like any one artist that's dope or any one. I don't I don't I don't I, I, I've always hated those kinds of things. Like what producer do you like? It's like like, are you kidding me? It's like yeah. there's producers that you've never heard of that's like that's on fire that you very hear of. You know, I, I, I would say just to give you a side note, I was at the Black Star show uh, the other day and um, um, and 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 they were they were amazing. You know, uh, most and and or, 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 or should I say Yasim, <laughs> Yasim. <laughs> uh, uh, him, him and him and, 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 and Kwali. It's like, it's like, it was, it was like, it was like milk. It was like milk and toast, man. They was like, they were, they were really, really great. But when they played the high tech era, yo, <laughs> the game shifted. <laughs> now high tech is, 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 a, is, a, is a producer that doesn't, that doesn't come off of anybody's tongue these days. <laughs> but the stuff that he did with those guys were, were, what amazing oh, absolutely there's a link to my interviews with high tech right there but i mean high tech <laughs> high tech and that's that's one of the things that i think is amazing and that i've always this has helped me so much in my career but it's just who i am as a person like i love the fact that high tech can produce Tyler quality and most deaf he can produce snoop he can produce g unit he can produce uh John L, he can produce Cormega, he can produce Common, like he could just produce whatever. Yeah, and the, yeah. Anderson Pac, like it's just the fact that his diversity is astonishing. And that to yeah. me, um, that to me makes all of this so entertaining because you can learn so much and enjoy so much. But then when you realize the diversity of what's going on, that's the brilliance of it. And that's why whether that's the juice soundtrack or what you did sonically with the yay short film that to me is what makes all this and even the artists that that you guys worked with or produced or put out like son of berserk young black teenagers on down the line it's just so (laughs) sonically thematically subject matter wise visually it's just all so strikingly different leaders of the new school on down i mean it's just Mm -hmm. so, so much yeah. And then and, and that's, a, you know, that's to me, the, it's what the brilliance and the beauty of of this genre is and what it represents. And I think that I think that for any of us to try to pigeonhole it into what we think it should be is is like it's like it's like that's the that's to me is the cardinal sin. And, and why and why and why is that? It's because when rap was fighting to become in existence, there was no 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 belief on where it should be we made rap rap what rap was up to 125 bpm to uh, uh, all the way down the all the way down to like 75 bpm you know it's like it's like what what genre was was even was even doing that i think that when we start to get to the point where things become uh, uh, in our own head, that it ha- it has it's not certified unless it's it's doing this kind of a thing. Then I think that that's when we've 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 either outgrown it or we've or, <laughs> or we become so set in our ways that we cannot see the vision and the and 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 the 
and the, the, the beauty inside something that's, that's new. I agree. And I think that's why the, just looking at any rap artist, the ones that are able to sustain are able to, to your point earlier, do that balance. Like look at, mm -hmm. look at outcast in particular, they're able to go from Southern Playlistic to AT Aliens to Equemini <clears throat> to Stankonia to Speaker Box Love Below. None of those albums sound like the other one. And even the Idlewild right. soundtrack, That's which right. is highly underrated. But just mm -hmm. sonically, forget lyrically and stylistically, vocally, just if you were to listen to those instrumental out al those albums as mm -hmm. instrumentals consecutively, you wouldn't have thought especially in the rap world that the same people made those albums, but they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah. That... I mean, but those guys, man, those guys are, 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 those guys are, those guys are underrated. <laughs> they are phenomenal. And, 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 the, and the reason why I'm saying that is because man, their, their brilliance, man, has no end. You know, they, they, they've been shining for so long under the radar, just yeah. doing their thing. And, 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 and I mean, I mean, when I first heard bombs over Baghdad, I was like, I was just like, I was floored because I couldn't figure it out. I was yeah. trying to, I was trying to, you know, you, 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 you know, there's a time when you get a little, you get a little, uh, uh, how would you say it? You get a little, uh, uh, uh you, you understand the artist, you know what you're looking for. You, 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 you're waiting for that next, that next feeling of what they did before and then they come and hit you in the back of the head with a hook that you be like yo wait a minute i i didn't expect this you know but you turn to grow to love it it's 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 i i'll tell you a quick story when i when i first heard uh method man um uh with with the record of um uh release your delf <laughs> I, that sounds that sounds like a dungeon song I know, I know. I called, I called um, uh, Lior up, and I told him this is the worst piece of shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and he was like, "Hank, you must be getting old." <laughs> that's a, so. I said, "I said okay." I, and that's that's upon first hearing it. Then I went back and I heard it again a couple of times on the radio. They they played it. I called him back up and said, Leo, I'm sorry, man. I, 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 had, a, I had a problem. Yo, this is the best shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but that's but that's the beauty of, of, of music, man. It's like, yeah, you know, a first impression, if you're expecting something to be a certain way and it doesn't and it doesn't fit that format, you're gonna be disappointed. And you're disappointed goes into anger and hate for that particular project or 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 even the artist. But if you if you open up and move back, you start to see things in a different light that you've never seen before. And that's the area to me is where the true visionaries li live. So as a consumer yourself, and the Method Man is a perfect illustration of this, how as society can we get past looking at something absorbing something experience something once and then revisiting it whether it's a conversation a song a movie uh anything a person how do we get better at taking that step back and giving ourselves the time instead of just being instant with everything because to your very point you had a totally different experience with the Method Man song. Most people, they just stick to that thing. How how can we, how can you, how can I, how can we all get better at taking that step back to give ourselves a chance to reevaluate? I think we have. I think that you we're in a, we're in a different space right now. We don't we don't have to we don't have to revisit anything. <laughs> We can, there's so much stuff, new stuff coming out that is that, that it keeps you in that, in that wormhole of like, yo, this is dope. This is dope. This is dope. It's like, you're not thinking about going backwards, but time does that. You, you tend to go backwards after a while when the hype is gone, when the dust is settled, then you want to go back and all of a sudden you'll hear something and you'll be like, yo, this is hot. How did I miss that? That's another treasure chest is finding the retro stuff that you've never heard. 
So that's why I said that we live in great times right now. So it, it, it's like you, you just gotta open up your you just gotta open up your frequency. Keep in mind, like you know, once we get to a point where we could change our belief systems, like we change our clothes every day, then we're gonna start seeing stuff that's gonna be that's gonna be amazing. Because it's the belief systems that's keeping the barriers up. Like we believe that this thing needs to be a certain way. When music, it that it can defy all that. And, and it's the only place in, in, in on this planet where you can where you can have true diversity. For example, if you're if you're if you're selling shoes, or for example, you did you have to stick to a format. If you're selling a car, you got to stick to a format. Anything that you do, you got to stick to a pre subscribed format. But music, music can be anything it wants to be. All it needs to do is speak to you. You know, I, I listened to the MIA record, you know, and, and, and at, at first listened to, I was like, what? Then I saw her boiler room uh, DJ set where she played the same songs. And I said, yo, she's on to something. <laughs> yo, see, see, but that's the beauty of it. Yeah, we can, we can have fun. We can reject it. But at the same time, we can accept it. So we don't have to be tribal about our existence anymore. Those days are gone. It's all complete diversity now. We can go anywhere we want to go. We can be anything that we want to be. We don't have to, we don't, we, we don't have to subscribe to anybody's pre, pre, pre-subscribed uh, uh, vibrations. We can create our own. And I'd say rap had a lot to do with that. <laughs> I, 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 me being a fan, People sit there and say, "Well, you know, you know, you you've been on this in this business for a while. You know, how do you feel about their accomplishments?" I'm sitting there saying, "What are you talking about? I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan of everybody that's out there. I've, there's not one artist that I'm not a fan of." And people say, "Hey, well, come on, Hank. how could you not? Be, how could you be a fan of everybody?" Yeah, because I find the beauty in everything that people are doing that's out there. If if you reach if you reach a, a certain level of of note of of note I want to I don't want to say notoriety. I want to say noticeability because if you if you can get noticed by somebody then damn it I want to listen. I want to find out what's what's vibrating on your frequency. I don't judge artists by the by by the checkbook or the, or the success book. I look at artists in terms of what are you communicating and what are you bringing to the table that's going to resonate to me. I don't care if only three people is on it. Who cares? I like it. It's funny you say that because so many times when I would get in discussions or debates or arguments with people about the great rappers or whatever, they'd always... I'd say who I would say or why I would say they'd be like, oh, well, this they didn't sell as much as... I'm like, sales has nothing to do with talent. Like nothing. That's right. That's right. And I and and I also was like, the second that an artist, the the paradox of this all too though is that the second an artist puts their music out to the world, the second it's not just in your studio or in your house and it's just you, and maybe your friend making it with you or whatever, then you're trying to get a claim or you're 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 doing it to be consumed. You're not doing it for mm-hmm. yourself exclusively, and that's the. The trick too when you're discussing this with people oh he's doing it for the culture no he's not because when he was in his bedroom or when no one knew who he was to your point when three people he was doing it to get fans he was doing it to get money he was doing it to get a claim whatever the reason it wasn't for the culture because you didn't have a culture you were by yourself Mm -hmm. but you but you also gotta you also gotta look at it the fact that you know uh all of those things are dynamics that add to the that add to the whole situation. So, for example, yeah, you you damn right, you're doing it for the money. Why not? It's like, oh, what is it? You you can't do it for the money? Yeah, you, that's that's part of the game as well. Fame, that's part of the game as well. These are all these are all these are all attributes of the game itself. And wh- whichever, however you manifest it, whichever ones that you can excite to get you to where you need to be by all means that's that's right on that's the what you're supposed to do now the question is is if it's not for you just leave it alone it's like you don't it's like who who am i to, to be the judger of or the purveyor of 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 what's going to happen next i don't know i just know what i like at the moment i've been wrong on so many times that that you can you that you can't imagine but i've been right as many times as you can't imagine as well <laughs> 
So it does. So, so so what so what does that mean? That means it balances out. And and what does balancing out mean? That means that we're all on the same plane. So 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 that doesn't mean that anything is greater than anything else. It's just a, it's just a it's just a, a a different version of something else. Just like your vision is the same vision as mine. The only difference is our perspectives. You can see what I can't see, and I can see what you can't see. So who's the judge and say which one is better? Yeah, I'd say the fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's exactly what it is. So, yeah. and I just want to talk about my artist, man, my up and coming artist that we have. And uh, that's on the soundtrack and that I think that you're going to that you I don't know if you got a chance to listen to some of the songs on the soundtrack, man. The, the, the artists that, that we have, I think, are truly amazing and they're up and coming. I, there's nobody that's that's that that to me has been that's been uh, certified, if you want to call it that, as official yet. Uh, but stay on the lookout for 90 with his song called Sundown. Uh, stay, stay, uh, stay on the lookout for Jackie Queens, who's 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 song that who's got a song called um, uh, I damn I, I I keep forgetting the title of it uh the, of of the song that's amazing um anyway Jackie Queens has a song on on the soundtrack uh Mizzle has a song on the soundtrack uh an artist called Magneto it's another one that has a song on the soundtrack and Sute Iwa got a song on the on the soundtrack. And a, a brilliant artist by the name of Owo. So I, 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 you know, I just want to let your fans know to to be on the lookout for these records that's going to be coming out. We're going to be releasing them like uh, on a monthly basis, and so that so that you know when you when they come out, I want you guys to you know see what you think. Get show, get them some love. They're all Nigerian, uh, Nigerian South Africa uh, connection and and the USA connection. And they're all, they're all, you know, they're all African artists. Nice. Well, thanks for letting us all know about that. Well, Hank, man, I really appreciate you coming through to Unique Access, man. It's been an honor speaking with you. Soren, thank you, man. It's been my honor. It's a pleasure, man. And much, much love to all the fans out there. Keep, keep, keep your, keep your dial locked to, to Soren, man, because he's doing big things right now. I want you to listen real close to me. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions. I want some real simple answers. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, I, I understand. You said that you couldn't have possibly been at the crime scene at 11.15 because you went to the bookstore buying my audio book and my hardcover book at 11.15 when the crime scene occurred in Soren's book. The history of gangster rap. So you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying the books. Right, right. At 11.15, I was, I was at the bookstore at, at 11.15 and when, when I, bought, I bought the books and accidentally left them at the store. So at 11.15, you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying books, right? At, at 11.15, I was, we, we was, when I was leaving, it was, it was some people coming in, and I, I, I forgot to grab But you, you, you don't remember who what they looked people, like. What would they look like or nothing, right? No. Hmm. So... Twelve fifteen. You went to bookstore buying my audio book and hardcover book and Soren's book at twelve fifteen. So you couldn't have been at the scene because you were buying the books, right? Yeah, at twelve exactly at twelve at twelve fifteen exactly. I was at the bookstore. <laughs> mm. 
Now you see. You know you know fucked up. Which which one? First you said you were at the bookstore at eleven fifteen, and then you said you were twelve fifteen. You know you know fucked up. He fucked up. Yeah, he fucked up. He fucked up. Man, you you confusing me, man. So, you get my book, my audio book, 40 years, and Soren's book, History of Gangster Rap, and if you don't, you know you're not fucked up, right? Man, the more those cops ask me questions, the more I wish I bought them motherfucking books. <laughs>